Welcome to the Nikki Rich Show. I'm your host, Miss Nikki Rich. And today, guys, we're broadcasting live out of sunny California, Los Angeles, that is. And today we have an exciting show for you guys. We have amazing guests in the house. And before we get to them, I want you guys to make sure you follow us along on social media at Nikki Rich Show TV, as well as at Miss Nikki Rich. And our website, thenickyrichshow.com. You can check us out, watch our show. And as you know, we have our podcast as well. That's on iHeartRadio, Amazon, as well as TuneIn, Blog Talk Radio. Y'all can check us out. Just Google us, The Nikki Rich Show. Well, guys, our guest is in the house. And I don't want to keep them holding on any longer. Today, we're going to be talking with the producers and directors of the newly filmed Justice. So we're gonna talk all about it and what's happening with Justice. So with no further ado, I'm excited to welcome our featured guest. Everybody know Miss Jesse Jolie and um, also Terrence Gallum and also Javon is in the house, Javon Johnson. So with no further ado, welcome to the Nikki Rich Show. Hey guys, how y'all doing? Hey, hey. doing great. We're so excited to have y'all here. And, you know, it's such an honor. I mean, you got big things happening. And what better yet to announce here on the Nikki Rich Show? All right. All right. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you for having us. Yes. We're excited. Well, again, welcome. First off, I want everybody, if you can, um, go ahead and introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about your part of this film. All right, Terrence, go first. <laughs> Hi, I'm Terrence Goldman, founder and president and CEO of Goldman Investment Group. Okay. I am executive producer on the film Justice, uh, and my co-pilot, my bosses, as you can see, Jesse and Javon. Um, so I'm just here to do all the footwork. Um, but it, it, it's a project that I spearheaded that's very dear to my heart. I'm excited about it. Truly excited. I want to thank you for the opportunity to be on your platform and your your global audience. And we want to share share what our inspirations are and what we look forward to and bring into um, into existence with the film Justice. Most definitely. Hi, uh, Javon. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I can jump in. Um, yeah, I, I can jump in. That's right. Um, I'm uh, Javon Johnson. Um, uh, with Javon Johnson Productions, uh, a lot of you know me currently as uh, Richard Hawson on Tyler Perry, The Oval, uh, every Wednesday. Uh, <laughs> uh, but I'm the producer, um, I'm the writing coach, I'm the founder of Beth Territory, um, the former school in Spartanburg, I've got a little in partnership with Wofford College right now. So we're um, uh, training a lot of the local folk uh, in the area to uh, aspire to be in the industry with the things that we're doing right now, which make making uh, films and producing and putting the yes. art into in the art reality. So um, this is where we are in that terms. Uh, I came in a while back with this project in mind and we just got to talk and decided it was a worthwhile first hour call to collaborate on. So here we are building a team and getting to uh, uh, getting things started going to production now. Jesse? Hi, so I'm Jesse Jalee. I am the, one of the producers um, on the film. I am the lowest one on the totem pole. <laughs> Terrence is my boss. <laughs> Terrence and Javon is my boss. And I'm basically here just to make sure that this movie comes into fruition. Justice is a it's going to be amazing, uh, amazing project. Uh, that's going to captivate a lot of people globally. So we're just excited to, you know, that you have us on your show that we could just talk about it and elaborate. Yes. Yeah. And I know it's taking place in Newberry, South Carolina, small yes. town. <laughs> yes. Yes. Now tell you, how did you choose this location? <laughs> I'll take that question. <laughs> yeah. Um, we wanted to have the, we wanted to take advantage of the opportunity to show you know young urban community what it's like to make a film. So we're making a film, making a film. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. And at Small Town, give us that backdrop where things are not just hidden in the Los Angeles light. So, the, you know, the urban backdrop of New York. So we wanted to capture the essence of the humanity side of things um, and not just the action part, but some of the more essential things, the, um, the human interaction with communities, you know, when these crime dramas and thrillers are taking place. So we wanted to make it personal. We wanted to have a personal backdrop. So Newberry gives us that opportunity to do it. Well, I, I love it because I'm from South Carolina. I'm from a small town, Seneca, South Carolina, you know, country okay. girls. So I always <laughs> love it, you know, when people pick these towns, like, you know, back home is so dear to me. So I was like, wow, Newberry, how amazing is that? All right. <laughs> so we're going to you're gonna, you're gonna have to come in and and be a part of the film. Oh, so yeah. you know. <laughs> most definitely, most definitely. Now tell us a little bit about justice. I know you can't give it all, but just tell us a little bit about the you know synopsis of it. Go ahead, Terrence. Yeah, I'll give you justice. We're following a young uh, urban male um, who is impacted by uh, a crime in itself. And we mm-hmm. want to show how he responds to the consequences and circumstances that surround him. And we want to follow that throughout his journey. Justice is it's amazing. It's very dear um, yes. because most of us are vulnerable. Most of us uh, uh, go through life with reacting versus being proactive. So justice gives us the backdrop to show um, what it's like when we're reacting to circumstances and environments and things when it happens in our lives. Mm. Wow. That's and deep. how it impacts those people around us as well. So that's the that's the intriguing part. We're going to see this thing unfold um, from more of a opposite perspective than what we're used to following the character through. And we're just looking at mm-hmm. what that character does. And this film is about what happens to the character and then how he responds to it. Yes. Now, speaking of, I know some... Tell us a little bit about the characters. I know uh, it's the Bell family, right? Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. You're going to maybe give you something up like really soon. Don't give it all away, Terrence. Okay. Okay. (laughs) Just a little bit. Yeah. I'll give you, just give you a little backdrop about the characters. I mean, that's why we chose um, the storyline Young Urban Males um, and what they're influenced by every day. Mm-hmm. and how they think and how they feel and how they respond and react to circumstances. And, you know, they're excited. Um, <laughs> and they are, they are our brothers, they are our nephews, they are our sons. And uh, having a chance to work with them from this perspective is just truly amazing. The family uh, have, to, you know, typical brokenness. You know, mm-hmm. that we all, you know, wear on our shoulder every day like it's nothing. Then when we look at it in this film, it's like, oh, it's everything. Oh, that means something. So <laughs> we're like, we're just on everything, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, and so we want to show those vulnerabilities and, you know, and then compare them against the strength and weaknesses. Okay. And the mastermind, <laughs> the mastermind is back. Um, and- <laughs> Mama see not a mastermind at this part of it. This is not- <laughs> Where my brilliance is. <laughs> so, um, so, so, literally, uh, his pen bring 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 it to life. Here, mm-hmm. his pen shows us, you know, him him being the artist, you know, showing the comparison throughout um, the different scenes, uh, the different characters, how they interact. Uh, it's truly amazing piece of work. Yes, and I, I feel know like people- I feel like Terrence was saying something great about me in my absence, so I appreciate. <laughs> Whatever you said it was great about me. I appreciate it. I don't it. know. He said you don't know how to operate your phone. I think that's <laughs> yeah. You know what? This is this exemplifies what artists are. We this is artists. I don't I, I do the art part. I don't do the technical part. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. Now can others this, get <laughs> involved too as well. You know, those that are in Newberry are just everywhere else. I mean, how can others get involved? Well, I'll, I'll let the the I'll let our spearhead um, Javon tell you a little bit about what his vision is, along with what I've shared already, just so you can hear from him uh, okay. what his passion, what his heart desire is, and what his vision is for 
the project. Um, again, he has seen it from the biggest stages in the world, and he knows how audience reacts. He knows, um, you know, how those characters, you know, take place in people's lives and people calling people home. So I, w I want him to share that part and how he would like to see people come on board to uh, be involved with the storyline. <clears throat> Well, I think one of the things in terms of what we Terrence spoke about earlier in terms of whether this is New York or L.A. in terms of the backdrop for this film, um, obviously there's a culture in those major markets for this. They get it mm -hmm. all the time. Right. But when we take a, a off the grid market like Newberry, you got to realize that there are people in Newberry who aspire to do what we do, but don't have yes. access or the ability all the time to go to L.A. to pursue it or New York to pursue it. So when we bring production into these communities, we also spark a fire in these people. And we also look for avenues for them to get involved so they can see mm -hmm. and get a taste of what it really is like. And we make everything tangible. Um, so it so, seems like it's something that's not uh, obtainable for them. Um, so coming into these small communities, one, we, we can uplift these communities, inspire these communities, but also create employment and, 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 and help build resumes and give experience uh, to mm -hmm. a lot of people who otherwise may or may not have access to this type of thing. Yeah. So it's always great when productions come to to underserved communities in terms of what Hollywood does, and, you know, the business of what we do, but they don't get a lot of opportunities to be a part of the workings of it. Um, yeah. We look into involve the local colleges and students there so they can step outside of the curriculum and get some on the job training and some on the job experience. And um, so all of those things just just become a, a, a benefiting factor yeah. to the to the city and county of Newberry and surrounding areas. I don't know if Jesse wanted to add something to that, but that's what I was for. Yeah, primarily what he said, because it is a small town, um, I think it motivates people even within the um, community, like different business owners and so forth. And mm -hmm. that's what has kind of been out, you know, doing a lot of groundwork, like networking with these people to try to bring them together in a collab, you know, a collaborative format um, so that the story can be told because a lot of times you think that the big stories are happening in New York, like Javon was saying, L.A. or George, you know, Atlanta or so forth in the major cities, Chicago. But mm -hmm. it's a lot of greatness that's within South Carolina and it's a lot of stuff that happens within those small towns. So I think that's what justice is going to capture as well. And it's just going to it's just going to show how to deal with the triumph and how to overcome the triumph and how to maneuver with the cars that you were dealt with. <laughs> so um, I think this movie is really going to shed some light just in the Newberry, Newberry area. Um, so, it, you know, it's people like like yourself, Nikki, from Seneca, it's people like Javon, mm -hmm. that's from um, Anderson and, you know, and so forth. And so I think this is going to be a great opportunity to even shed more life on like light, I'm sorry, on the successes that could come out of like small towns like this as well. Yeah. So I think that's going to be a great aspect too to show forth. And then more people begin to jump on and and, and um, help solidify this project. Now, how is this, this prepping and the planning process going? I mean, what are you doing? <laughs> I know it's a yeah, lot. It's man. <laughs> that's the that's that's the madness part. We all we all insane right now, so we yeah. in the same phase. You know, I know it's uh, it's uh, crazy. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not it's not easy. It's not easy to to produce a film. You know. Uh, well, let me say it's not easy to produce a film the right way. Let me say mm -hmm. that <laughs> because there's, wow. yeah, some some people can produce film the easy way, but it's not necessarily the right way in terms of going about it. So in in doing it the right way, there's a lot of pieces to the puzzle. There's a lot of um, timing and ingredients and everything has to come together in the right way to make a productive production happen. And there's a lot of uh, uh, trial and error sometimes. Even, even when you think you got it figured out, you find out there's a glitch somewhere. So you always, uh, you, you always just gotta try to put the, the best people in position to mm -hmm. be able to adapt and adjust to anything that we might encounter along the way. Cause you're gonna, you're gonna come against something. There's gonna be some surprises. You can't avoid them in, in the world of filmmaking. But you just want to prep as much as you can and have enough um, experience and knowledge about what you're doing so that you can adjust to whatever you encounter along the way. So we're in that beginning phase of figuring it all out and bringing the right people into the mix and, and making the right uh, connections for us networking and getting the, yeah. the uh, city and county of Newberry involved as much as possible with local businesses, entrepreneurs there. Um, and like I say, the community. Um, so that's, a, that's, that's, that's the legwork. That's that footwork we got to put in to make it all count at the end of the day. Now, are you also accepting donations? I know 
to, you know. You can donate right now, Nikki. You can just <laughs> give her all the donation information. Listen. <laughs> all the information. Yeah, yeah. It takes yeah. money. <laughs> it, it does. Yeah, yeah it does. Uh, the great thing about this community effort um, is collaborative, and it can help people all over the world. Okay. That's the beauty of it. And it's digital. Look at us. We're talking Newberry Hollywood right now. You know, right. we're talking the Oval. We're, we're talking, you know, corporate America all right here in mm -hmm. just digital access. So uh, we have a, a page set up and, you know, it'll be ongoing, thejusticemovie.com, uh, where, mm -hmm. yeah, we take donations. We're able to take, you know, any contribution. We have sponsorship opportunity as well. Um, we will also be putting together the celebrity mixer events and highlighting our progress and sharing the, the cast and the crew and this experience. This is for the community. This is who it's for. It you know, is. we're at a stage of life where we good. You know, we cut the cameras off. We go about our lives. Right. But when you look back and you think about when you was in Seneca, you know, when you think back before Javon was on starring with Tyler Perry, you think back before Jesse was, you know, a corporate advisor, you know, and having you know the entertainment background you think before i thought about anybody else you know that was that time this is for them you know that's the beauty yeah. of it so um you know we're here for them we're here to get everybody involved from you know however they can participate at this point i'll tell now, you this you know chad chad bozeman sponsorships died. too because oh. i know you okay. mentioned sponsorships like uh, are you speaking like anybody who has a business and they want to highlight and showcase in the film or how, how are you going about that yeah we have product placement opportunities of course okay. you know money is we're going to build around our resources you know but one thing we're not going to do is not not make a film so <laughs> that being said you know you're not going to have uh any excuse to not to do business with us not to partner with us okay. of course again we want to give them the best product you know, uh, and that, that do cost money. So product placement, mm -hmm. it, it'd be huge, you know, because we're talking urban culture. Um, so any of the urban designers, um, services, we'd love to partner with them at some point. But along the way, while we're making the film, there's sponsorships opportunity. You know, not just, you know, like I said, we're making a film, making a film. So it's not just about putting your money so that your product can be seen in the film. You want to be seen making this film. That's the key. This is not some film that you want to walk away saying, okay, they just, they were just making a movie. No, we're making a difference. It, it, it don't different. take nothing to make a movie. You can look good, sing good, and dad. You can go on TikTok and get a million followers. Make a movie. You know, <laughs> but no chance of what that may, how it may impress somebody. That's not what Justice is doing. And if mm -hmm. you think about it, the title, Just Us. So just us. at the end of the day, it's Justice, Just Us. So we're going to get it done. And we'd love to partner with, you know, people who have heart and the passion to, you know, want to make a difference, want to make a change. And yeah. piggyback off of Terrence, this is this is going to be a, a high scale union project. So mm -hmm. this is an opportunity for people um, to even break into to that level as well. So it's not just a a, a, a smaller scale indie film. It's, it's a union. We, we're, we're definitely running everything through the union and all. Um, definitely on a higher platform so it's a great opportunity for people to grow into an area that they was you know was once was not introduced to before and i want to say i like the poster the film poster as well i, I did it, it. So i did it i like it <laughs> yeah i did it it was all my idea everything <laughs> I did the graphics and everything. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was doing when I when I when I when I when I was when I was kicked off. That's what I was working on. I sent it to you real quick, and then I jumped back on. So yeah, I'm glad you pre because I rushed it. I'm glad you liked it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I really liked it. And also, you know, tell us what is it that you want the people to get out of? You know, when they go and they watch this, what message do you want them to get out of? Who wants to do is that everybody or jump in there? Yeah, everybody. Who, who, feel, who feeling impulsive? A sense of togetherness. Um, you know, is what what I see, you know, because like Taryn said, this is not just a regular movie. This is community. This is the community coming together mm -hmm. to build something great. So you want them to leave with a sense of togetherness, a different perspective, a different outcome. A different way to even challenge problems that goes on in, 
in, in, in their lives. Because even when you read the script, you're going to see some twist in it. That's just not the order, ordinary way that you, you would handle some things. So um, just like I said, a sense of togetherness. And then I'll just pass it on to Terrence to see what Terrence wants. I would I would say what impacted one of the things I reference in my life um, that's been very impactful. People can't see your dreams and people can't feel your pain. Yeah. So I want people to take from watching Justice that if it's gonna be, it's up to me. And you know, make choices, pay attention to you know your influence, um, monitor yourself, give yourself a chance to to grow and respond to those things that happen in your life in a way that you want the desired income. Cause there's a uh, outcome, there's a result to every action. And you know, the sooner you can learn what those possibilities might be, the more informed the better choice decision that you'll make. And in this case, you gotta watch the whole movie in order to see how that plays out. So. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But you're not gonna yeah. not be unaffected. You see, we got us all on that poster. So yeah, you get, <laughs> we get in this thing. I said it's for them. But it's it's about us as well, so we having a little say in this thing too now. So <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, I agree. With, I agree with all that. I think um, it is about not becoming a product of your environment, you and and also not letting your past dictate your future. Um, that you can create something better for yourself in spite of what you've been through or going through right now in this moment. And it's all about the choices and decisions you make. But it's also being able to see that there's there's a brighter day ahead of you. So when you lose sight of that light and you only see darkness, you make decisions that reflect darkness and you end up driving, your, driving yourself into a deeper hole and then you lose yourself at the end of the day. So uh, for me, justice is about about that, about rising above your traumas, rising above mm -hmm. um, the things, the challenges you have in life and know that there's always a tomorrow if you can see it and you can believe in it and you can fight for something better. Wow. Well, I'm ready. <laughs> I'm excited about it and everything that you have going on. And, you know, we want everybody else to, you know, go and, you know, connect, get ready to watch and to see the film process, everything, you know. So um, real quickly, can you let everybody know where they can follow and, you know, check you guys out? I'll, I'll answer that. I'll start and then they could give you their contact information as well. But um, again, I'm the founder, president, and CEO at Garvin Investment Group. And part of my role is creating an asset that we can own, that the community could not only be part of the process, but benefit long term as well from owning mm -hmm. uh, the product and the process. And we have the event page, we have the sponsorship links on it. Um, and if you just want to follow the movie along, it's thejustusmovie.com. But you can go to Garland Investment Group and get the full scale and scope of, of who I am and what I do. And then also on Instagram, um, just us underscore movie, correct, Terrence? Yes. On Instagram as well. Um, well, with me, um, you follow every follow Terrence first. <laughs> 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 You can follow she's gonna make me vet everybody. That's what she's gonna do. So you can't send no <laughs> spam, no scam, none of that. Uh, the footwork, yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You can follow me, of course, at Jesse Julie, Instagram, Jesse Julie or www.jessejulie.com. Um, and pretty much just follow the movie. We want the support for just us, the movie. Absolutely, absolutely. So after you follow all of that. <laughs> you, you can find I, I am Javon Johnson on Instagram and Javon Johnson Productions on Instagram. And that's it. We'll see you guys in Newberry soon. And we'll be making a film. The cameras will be rolling and we'll be yeah. stirring up the community and, and, and getting wow. hype down there. So we're looking forward to, to coming down to Newberry and get things going. Yes. Well, I've had the pleasure to talk with you guys today. I'm so excited about this film and i know everybody is watching right now um if you're watching and didn't get a chance you can always watch the replay but uh i know they're gonna be excited too and you know like i said i'm so um pumped up you know because it's happening in my home state south carolina you know right. it's a lot of talent come out of south carolina and uh, absolutely. You know, you know, I'm, from, I'm from Anderson, which was the same hometown. As that's, where I'm, so. that's where I was born. I'm from, I'm really from Anderson, Anderson, South Carolina. I was born at Anderson oh, I look Hospital. At that. 
Oh, so was I. Look at that. Yeah, I was born at Anderson Hospital, but I live in I lived in Seneca my whole life. So gotcha. you know, we just claim yeah, Seneca. <laughs> Hey, Nikki, I'm going to give you a nugget about Anderson. I'm going to give y'all a nugget about Anderson when we come back. Oh, you can tell us now. Come no, on. No, I can't tell you. I know. You, I got to see you at one of those red carpet events somewhere. Your show is doing these great and amazing things, and I want to give it to you so you can invite us back. So I got to hold that nugget. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. we it's huge, Oscar, though. It's huge. It's know? huge to be followed up on. <laughs> huh? I said it's a huge nugget to be followed up on. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Anderson is where I'm from. You know, all the towns we done been, Iva, Belton, Honey, and Pat, you know, the outskirts. Oh, yeah. So we be all up in Anderson. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Clemson. Absolutely. Yeah, huh? Clemson. Oh, A yeah. Lot of people I'm right it. beside Clemson. My yeah. parents literally live in the backyard of Clemson. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You yeah. know, off of 123 Highway, you know how right. that goes. Right. <laughs> Right. Oh, oh! I see everybody. It's like, oh my God, I live in Anderson. <laughs> <laughs> Anderson is in the house. Yes, wow. shout out to Anderson in the house. Yeah, but Anderson is growing though. It's growing. Yeah. You know, it's getting bigger. But you see, you got to go and shoot at Anderson. Yeah, yeah. we got plenty of plans. You know, this is this is this is only the beginning. So we, okay. we're. we're this is the start of everything. So this, it doesn't stop with it. You know, it begins with justice, but it doesn't end with justice. Yes. And just well, so you know, look at it, Lamson. We're right there too. You know, Greenville oh, is yeah. one of the budding states in in the, in the country now. Greenville, mm -hmm. and then you're looking right next, going up the road the fall. You got Charlotte, and you know, mm -hmm. like you know, Atlanta, the Black Mecca. You know, the new mm -hmm. Hollywood. Yeah. Uh, the new Hollywood South, if I must say. So we're mm -hmm. right in the mix of everything. Most definitely. Well, guys, I enjoyed you today. And, you know, congrats on all your success as far, you know. And I, I just welcome you back to the Nikki Rich Show so we can do a follow-up or see how it's going, you know, so y'all can come back and just keep us updated. We will. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you, Nikki. And make sure y'all follow me back. Follow me at Nikki Rich Show TV on Instagram or Miss Nikki Rich, you know. Gotcha. We'll, so and we'll stay and when we have the media um events in um Newberry, you could fly on down, fly back from LA and oh come yeah. Back for sure. Most definitely. Yes, guys. Well, I'm excited for you. Thank you so much for being here on the Nikki Rich Show. You know, we wish you all the best, you know, much love and success. And we want to say God bless you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Right. And thank you, everybody, for watching the Nikki Rich Show. We are so honored to have our guest here today. It's, it's been an amazing show. Make sure you watch the replay, guys, if you haven't, you know, uh, or have never watched the show. You can always watch it at Nikki Rich, the number two at YouTube or the Nikki Rich Show dot com. We got so much in store, you know, as I mentioned before. Um, we got coming up um, the Oscars at the end of the month. Um, we will be covering, and we're so honored to do that. And um, our fourth, uh, our 11th year anniversary is April the 4th. So, yeah, we've been in business for 11 years, and we're going to be celebrating April 4th, girl, guys and girls. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching the Nikki Rich Show. Much love to you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye.